Fort Worth has the nickname Cowtown for good reason. It boasts the longest history of cattle raising and ranching of almost any city in America. If you're not into herds of cattle and everything that comes with them, there's still a lot to keep you entertained in Fort Worth. So stick around to find out the best things to do and see in Fort Worth, Texas. Texas Motor Speedway did you know the Texas Motor Speedway is the fastest track on the NASCAR circuit? If you're looking to experience some high-speed cars, this is the place to come. This quad oval design track is almost 1.5 miles long and can accommodate close to 200,000 spectators. Plan your visit around one or more of the three key races of the year, the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, Nationwide Series, and the Camping World Truck Series, and the Indy Racing League IndyCar Series. But if you can't be there for a big event, don't worry. This world-class racetrack holds events almost every day of the year. Fort Worth Botanic Garden The famous Fort Worth Botanic Garden stretches out over 109 acres of carefully curated gardens containing about 2,500 different species of plants. If you can't see all this landscaped paradise, we recommend at least checking out the Rainforest Conservatory, the Japanese Garden, and the Fragrance Garden as highlights. If you're interested in plant preservation, pay a visit to the Begonia Species Bank, a living collection aimed at preserving this pretty species, and the on-site water conservation projects. If you get hungry while you're there, you can dine al fresco amongst the plants at the on-site restaurant. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. And stick around for more of the best of Fort Worth. U.S. Bureau of Engraving and Printing if you've ever wanted to see how those dollar bills are made, be sure to schedule a visit to the U.S. Bureau of Engraving and Printing into your Fort Worth vacation. Once there, you can take a self-guided audio tour of the facilities where you'll see actual money getting printed, and it won't cost you a dime. Take the whole family along, because the process is equally as interesting for kids as it is for adults. Just be aware you can't take in any cameras, cell phones, or other recording devices due to security issues. So don't bank on taking any selfies with those printing machines. Kimball Art Museum A visit to the Kimball Art Museum is set to delight those interested in architecture and art. First of all, this world-class museum is housed in a stunning piece of architecture designed by Japanese-American artist Isamu Noguchi. Secondly, the museum boasts a carefully curated collection of art that showcases the best of art history. Think Rembrandts, Monets, and Picassos. The grounds also feature an additional building, the Piano Pavilion, which has a stunning collection of renowned Asian and European art. Best of all, the permanent collections are all free to visit. Fort Worth Stockyards National Historic District between 1866 and 1890, Fort Worth was the center of cattle trading in America, and the Fort Worth Stockyards National Historic District tells this story. Cowboys, fresh from the Chisholm Trail, would meet to distribute livestock and discuss the ranching business. This sparked an idea in the mind of Boston businessman Greenleaf W. Simpson. He established the stockyards that still stand today. Of course, since the invention of highways, the close to 100-acre stockyards faded out of use, and instead they became one of Fort Worth's most famous tourist attractions. Head there to learn all about the Wild West and the USA's long-storied history of cattle farming. Sundance Square Looking to get in a little shopping in Fort Worth? You'll want to include a day or two at Sundance Square. This commercial district encompasses 35 city blocks and has everything from high-end clothing boutiques, tech stores and art galleries, to casual eateries and trendy bars. If you need to give your feet a break from all that standing and walking, head to Sundance Square Plaza. This central park has lots of seating and you can admire the fountains or catch a live music performance. Fort Worth Water Gardens if you're looking for more fountains, the Fort Worth Water Gardens is another top spot to visit. And you don't just admire the waterworks here, you can actually splash around in them. This intriguing public park was built in 1974 and features three pools of water and close to five acres of tree-adorned parklands. One pool features 38-foot-high terracing, there's an aerating pool with bubbles, and a final meditation pool surrounded by enormous oaks. We recommend visiting at night because the fountains are lit up with colorful lights, creating spectacular effects. AT&T Stadium If you're visiting Fort Worth, you're likely a football fan. After all, the city and nearby Dallas are home to America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. And their home is the enormous AT&T Stadium. With a capacity of 80,000, it's the largest domed stadium in the U.S. Of course, seeing a game is a must if you're visiting in season. But even if you're not, we recommend tagging along on a VIP tour of the venue. 
The monumental building holds an impressive art collection, private suites, a press box, and locker rooms. Tour attendees even get to head out onto the field. Perot Museum of Nature and Science do you want the kids to get a bit of education while on vacation? Then pack their backpacks and schedule some time at the Perot Museum of Nature and Science. This 180,000 square foot institution features exhibitions on everything from the unique Texas ecosystem, including the history of the humans who have inhabited the area over the centuries, to an interactive display on the life cycle of birds. It's also a great way to escape the intense Texas heat for a few hours. Log Cabin Village while the name of this attraction might make it sound a bit dull, it is far from it. The Log Cabin Village is actually a living history museum where you can experience American life in the 1800s. There are several authentic buildings to explore, a blacksmith's workshop, a schoolhouse, a grain mill, and a handful of log cabin homes. The Sixth Floor Museum and Dealey Plaza Many visitors to Fort Worth will head to the Dealey Plaza in nearby Dallas to pay tribute to the U.S.'s 35th president, John F. Kennedy. That's because it's where Lee Harvey Oswald was positioned on the fateful day of the president's assassination. The Sixth Floor Museum stretches across two floors and features an exhibition dedicated to JFK's life, career, and death. If you don't want to visit the museum, you can explore Dealey Plaza for free. Dallas World Aquarium if you're visiting in the scorching Texas summer, trotting around an open-air zoo might not seem so appealing. But if you want to spend some time with cute and fascinating animals, you can visit the Dallas World Aquarium instead. Here you'll find aquatic creatures, from fish and sharks to eels and octopi. You'll also get to interact with rainforest wildlife like brilliantly billed toucans, ferocious crocodiles, and mischievous monkeys. Sid Richardson Museum Sid Richardson wasn't just one of Fort Worth's most successful businessmen, he was also a passionate collector of Western art and a philanthropist, sponsoring numerous scholarships and gifts over the years. Today, you can see his vast collection of work by renowned artists like Peter Hurd, Edwin Deming, and Frank Tenney, among others. The building was first constructed in 1982 and renovated in 2006, and it sees over 40,000 visitors a year. Nancy Lee and Perry R. Bass Performance Hall Looking to spend your evening in style? Taking a show at the Bass Performance Hall. This European opera house style building hosts performances by institutions like the Fort Worth Symphony Orchestra, the Fort Worth Opera, and the Texas Ballet Theater. There are also regular community-based events catering to kids. So why not book your kids in so you can hit the shops? Eamon Carter Museum Fort Worth is full of world-class art museums, and the Eamon Carter Museum is no exception. It houses collections of everything from landscape paintings from the 1800s to photography by Alfred Stieglitz, the husband of artist Georgia O'Keeffe. Best of all, there are children-themed exhibitions, so you can introduce your kids to the wonder and creativity of the art world. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Fort Worth? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.